Okay, so I am working on microphones. And I'll be honest with you, I've had a lot of trouble with this one. This is the capacitive microphone, uh, also known as a condenser microphone. So the nice thing about these is they're really small. So I'm pretty sure that this was one, this is the, uh, this is the, the earbuds for an iPhone uh, and, and that you can make these uh, condenser microphones really small. So let me tell you how they work and then we're gonna build one and then hopefully record something if that indeed works. The idea starts with a parallel plate, or it doesn't have to be parallel plate capacitor, but a capacitor. So a capacitor is uh, basically two plates where you put uh, electric charge on one and a negative charge on the other one, and it makes a potential difference. Uh, so that's kind of cool and all. So the capacitance of a system of parallel plate uh, depends on the area, the size, divided by the distance between them, and that is key. So if I have two parallel plate capacitors like this and I push them closer together, I will change the capacitance. If I pull them further apart, I will change the capacitance. So we're going to record audio by changing the capacitance of a capacitor. So uh, the, the capacitance also depends on the charge and the change of potential. Uh, so here's the circuit that we have. I have a very simple circuit. It consists of a battery, a, a homemade capacitor, and a resistor. And so this loop uh, has to have a constant, um, would have a zero change in potential around the whole thing. And what happens is we'll run current through there and a bit of charge. Then if I speak, that will push this plate closer or further away, but it will change D. And by changing D, I will change the capacitance. So if I look at the loop rule, I have the battery, uh, the voltage across the resistor, and then the voltage across the the capacitor, but if I change C, then this thing changes, which changes the current. So we're going to measure the voltage across the resistor because it should change as I speak. Is that good enough? That should be good enough. So I, I, I played around with this. I can kind of get it to work. Yes, I know that, that if you get a good amplifier, if you get some other good things, you can make it work better, but I would like to make it work simple. That's my whole thing. I want to make it as simple as possible. So I'm using a 300 kilo ohm resistor and a nine volt battery. Let's build this thing. And I've actually already built it because this one was so tough. So let me show you what I have here. I put it on this board. Uh, and the reason I put it on the board was so that I could change things up and not have to worry about rebuilding all the circuits. Um, oh, that came off. Okay, so here's my battery. And this goes to the minus side. So it came off. So let's just connect that back. Stick that thing in there. And yeah, I know they make these battery holders. Uh, but as long as that's... In, okay, those are both in there. And then this is my speaker. So I have here a copper plate. And yeah, I know you may not have a copper plate, but you can find something metal. And this is the base of one side of my capacitor. This is the other side. So what I did was I took uh, a... A cup like this and I uh, glued the aluminum foil onto the top as tightly as I could and then I cut it off the top and that's the top part now and you don't want the metal aluminum to touch the metal other side of the plate it won't be a capacitor anymore so I put some scotch tape over the top of that and then finally I put these little cardboard spacers I think they help I'm not sure but when I speak then this will allow this to vibrate more. If it's too close to that, it won't. Uh, and also allows the air to get out as I push that in. Uh, I don't have an air problem. And it's not perfect, I admit, 100%. Okay, so then this capacitor is hooked up over to uh, the two ends. One end is a plate and one end is aluminum foil. And they're hooked up right here. And then I just have uh, that going to a three kilo ohm resistor and then back to the negative so it's just a loop of the capacitor, the resistor, and the battery. Then I have my audio cable connected to my computer, which I'm recording. And that goes uh, just across that thing. And I'm using this program. It's called Oscilloscope Science Music. It's a website. And I find it's better. it works better for me than Audacity. It just kind of, I don't know. Let's just see. I've had a lot of trouble with this, people. Okay, so I'm going to start... Um, Recording. I'm going to do the one thing I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to, is going to work the best. And I know it's kind of cheating, but I'm going to use this tuning fork, and I'm actually going to let it oscillate, and then I'm going to touch the plates. 
the met lumen foil and that's going to move it up and down and create a very loud sound um, I, I put some tape on here so that I wouldn't have uh, a grounding problem uh, when I do that so is that okay I hope that's okay so I'm going to go over here to my micro my music scope I'm going to record actually I'm going to I'm going to hit this on my heel first record and then we can we can see what happens so here we go that's on recording Okay, let's see what we got. So now I'm going to go over here and turn up the amplitude. And we, we do see something. Okay, so I'll play this. It, it did work. Okay. That did indeed work. Uh, so let me delete that. And let's record again. Um, I'm going to just try yelling into it. No, let's, mm, let's try this. Okay, so I have another way to cheat. Uh, this is a speaker, and it's hooked up to a, uh, a signal generator, so I can change the frequency of that. I'm going to just put this right on top. I know that sounds like it's cheating, but you know, you got to get, that did work. Okay, that did work, but then I can change the frequency and see if I can record it over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to make it loud, so I'll try to adjust the audio. Um, but I probably won't come out that good with that. Okay, and then I, I think it did work. So if I go back over here and play it, I can hear that. Okay, so I think this is indeed working. Um, I could, I, I got it working really well one time where I could talk into it, but uh, I don't want to do that. I don't think it's going to record very well. We can try taking those off and repeating our experiment. I doubt that it will work, but you never know. Okay, so let's, let's try this. Hello, this is my microphone. Okay, I can barely hear that, but I'm going to count this as a win. Uh, my... Uh, microphone does indeed work. I can make it way better uh, by having a better a better uh, plate right here um, and using a better amplifier. But like I said, I, I want to just make it work. And this one I'm going to count as check. It works.